how they players. Oh, Paul, Paul here. Fixing to work that or green pan like it ain't no thing. Flangle crock pot. Right. Love you, hon. I got some blueberry fiber on the way. thing you're gonna do melt the three quarters of a cup of butter so we get a chance to melt three quarters of a cup of butter in the pan oh wow cool I like that we're gonna give this we're gonna work this pan right here get that dang butter melted And I got a casserole dish. Don't want to burn the butter, just put it right into the casserole dish. Right there. Now, we're going to add about a half a cup of sugar to that pan. Blueberries. Just picked out the backyard. And you got uh, corn starch. And Mexican vanilla extract. <laughs> yes, sir. A little bit of H2O. We'll make our blueberry pie filling. Using our new or green pan. In real time. See, I don't want that green one. That green and out of there. I picked every one of these myself. Out in the backyard. It took me about 15 minutes. Got the oven set on 350. If it looks a little dry, we'll have to add some water to it.
gonna be real interesting to see how good it cleans up. See if they lied. Ooh, look at that. Just don't want it to scorch at this point. All right, while that's doing that, we'll take and add in. I got the melted butter in the pan. We'll add in the. Uh, I got one cup of self-rising flour and one cup of milk. Three quarters of a cup of sugar in this batter right here. Now we're going to take and uh, turn it off. Pour that down into here. Put this in the oven, 350 degrees. Cook it for one hour. One hour precisely, and then we'll get a chance to see what it looks like. Oh yeah. Is that pan gonna wash up? Stay tuned. <laughs> Mr. Oil Greenick seemed to be holding up pretty good. See, it cleaned up nice out of that blue bag pie incident a while ago. Didn't even have to use no. I tell you, I had to use my elbow. I ain't put no. I ain't, I, I ain't intending on adding any soap to this paint right here at all. At any time. I hadn't added any soap to any of my fine bands in the past in my life, and I'm not adding any soap to this one either. I don't like the soapy residue smell that they give off. Let's put this poppy to the test today. So far, we made blueberry filling. Surprise for us, Andy. Can't have fried squash without some saltied onion. Not to, you know, to pick them a little sooner. This is going to be a test. She said, but I thought they'd be good if they was big. Yeah. You can't let squash or okra or nothing get real big. It'll get tough. But these seem to be cutting up pretty easy, so... I'm gonna cook a little bit of squash to go with that roast or something. Now I'm not gonna not gonna cook it in real time. I'm gonna work it down a little bit and show y'all what it ends up looking like. I gotta also improvise a dang lid for it because it didn't come with one. That won't work. Let's see if I find one of Grandma's old lids up here. Uh-oh. My 
George, that looks like it's about damn near the right side, don't it? Well, imagine that. Jasmine rice, babe. Sampler platter. Now I'll slice me a tomato and put it on top of that. And scar, baby. <laughs> <laughs>